You said you're a Cherokee? Come on this way. Come around this way. Come on this way. On your father's side. What's your nationality? Are you believe in the Bible? Let me tell you something about the truth. Let me tell you something about the truth. Do you believe that there's one truth or many truths? So that means that an event might happen and everybody might see it from a different angle, but there's one thing going on, right? Other people might be reacting to it different ways, but there's one truth. Yeah, and I don't judge him for being ignorant or being raised in a different way. I mean, you can't help how someone was brought up. You were brought up to believe Jesus is young, Jesus is young. Like, you know, I don't hate on someone because... Their beliefs are different. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That's a, that's a good outlook to have when it comes to maintaining accountability for oneself. You know, you can't look at other people and say that they're not raised the way I'm raised, so I'm gonna behave a certain way. You have to maintain integrity by saying, you know, everybody might have different views, but I need to stand by the truth, right? Which is one thing. So even mean you need to hate on anybody, but do you love anyone if there's one truth? refuse to show it to them because they have a different opinion of what happened and you know what actually went on factually? Uh, I would love someone for them and accept that they have a different view. As a human being? As a human being, I accept that because I can't change it as in they're not going to affect my belief. They're not going to affect your belief. Yeah, they ain't going to have any all right, brother got a question for you right here too. So you believe you believing in the Bible. You understand, right? So understanding that, you know that God only has a certain nation of people that he, he's here for, right? Yeah, have you, I mean have, have you read the Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's still to me and my life my interpretation. I take it. I don't know how anyone else takes life. Right. I take it as what I believe. And I follow him spiritually. Spiritually, spiritually. Well, not printed words, not symbols. I mean, you need to follow him spiritually. Yes. Well, so, <laughs> yeah. so. I mean, spiritually, as in my like mother, God, nature. God is not man or woman. Right, so this is out of the mouth of prophecy, 
right? Dealing with the Most High, dealing with His prophets. Speaking of speaking on about your destruction, man. Go ahead. That's the book of Hosea, chapter four, verse six. Go ahead. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. All right, and it's going to tell you why. Go ahead. Because thou has rejected knowledge. Right, we have referred, we forsook the knowledge, we reject the knowledge. That's why we're over here in America, this is supposed to be our land, Native American land, right? Guess what, the so-called white man owns the land now. He took, he took it by force, you know what I'm saying? That's why we're, we're destroyed. We're destroyed because we forsook the knowledge of the Lord. Okay, you said that you said when you still this brother that there's one truth, right? Guess what? That one truth is the scripture. And that's one truth is God loving his people, which you're you're part of. That's right. You being a Native American, you being an Israelite. Well look look see, but see that's the thing, brother. Here's the thing though, brother. That's the thing. There is no but here's the thing though. There is no mother nature. There's nature that's governed by the Heavenly Father, but there is no mother nature. See, that's another thing dealing with our people. That's another part part of our people being destroyed for lack of knowledge. Same. We're regurgitating, wait a second. We're regurgitating things that our enemy taught us, mother nature. You know what I'm saying? The Most High is the one that created nature. He's the one that has nature, all right? He's, he's the one that established nature. Do you agree? I will also reject it. Right, he shall, shall also reject it, all right? That's what. That's why you're in the condition you're in. You're in hell right now. Go ahead. That thou shall be no priest to me. Right. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. Right. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. All right? And that, wait, a, wait a second. Wait a second. We've forgotten the law of thy God. God of the God of God of the earth, God of Israel. Right, go ahead. I will also forget thy children. And look at what, what's happened to our people. He's forgotten our children. He's allowed them to be captured by a, a nation of people that don't care about us. I was guided to you are given Taking over your territory and your land. Some of them didn't have control over where they're at. Give me a second, that's real quick. 1444. The, the newborns weren't given control over where they were. Well, well, okay. The second, that's what's 1444. Because I try to be an open heart. Uh huh. And I want to help them. Well, look, here's the thing. Yeah, I want to well, help Well, here's the thing, though. Is that, is that, here's, here's the thing, though. It's what you want, what, what God wants, because the Most High wants liberation, salvation for His people. That's right. How do we, how do we save them? But no, that's, 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 my, that's the point. That's the point we're, that's the point we're getting at. The Lord loves. You see this? Quote, you see this sign right here? Take a good look at this sign. This sign. Or it, it represents the nationality of people that the Lord loves. You see blacks, you see Haitians, you see Dominicans, you see yourself, Native Americans. All right? People of black and, and Indian descent. How do we say right? We don't, the Lord, the Lord doesn't, look, look, the Lord created the wicked. The wicked for the day of evil. All right? And guess what? They created them to do what they did to us. And guess what? He's going to pay, they're going to have to pay for what they've done. You, Come on! Give me Isaiah. Yeah, you, uh, give, uh, hold, hold that. Just get, get Isaiah uh, 14 and 21. So we are drawing. Yeah. 14 and 21. Yeah. 
So there is a line. Being yeah, drawn. yeah, there is a line being drawn by the Most High. That's right. To yeah, separate, because the most, because look, just like how, just like how we all, we all were raised up to believe that everybody is created equal, right? Yeah. But how? But how's it? But here's the thing, though. We live in a society that thinks, thinks that you're, you're less than a human. We're less than the human, you know what I'm saying? Is. And we're treated like nothing. I right? walk in here, I got three OPs on me, and I'm just getting money. Exactly. Work, three jobs. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. See, and right there, that's where separ a separation needs to be drawn. You know why? Because the Most High sees that. Um, the Most High being a just, you believe that God is a just God, right? Yeah. He, he's, he's a just God, right? So he sees that knowing in the end, in the future end of these people that's doing this very thing to you, he's gonna have to judge them. And look, going, getting back to the point, we're about to bring the scripture out. The people, these children that you see are the white people that, whose forefathers conquered your forefathers and took this land. Yeah. They're gonna have to pay. They're gonna have to pay for what their forefathers get, did. And that's what the Bible says. That's what God's word says. Uh, Read it. Go ahead. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter fourteen, verse twenty-one. Go ahead. Well, Prepare slaughter. For his children. You hear that? The Lord is speaking through Isaiah, saying, prepare slaughter for his children. Go ahead. For the iniquity of their fathers. For the iniquity, the sins, the crimes of their forefathers. Go ahead. That they do not rise, nor possess the land. That they neither rise, nor possess the lands that we're standing on right now. All right? Or any land. Because this same man, white man that we, we see has conquered everybody's land, is in everybody's territory. You know, taking control, pushing out, pushing forth their their ways and their philosophies upon the place, upon the place, and taking away everybody's culture, just like how they did our culture, brother. Go ahead. Nor uh, fill the face of the world with cities. Neither fill the, uh, the face with the world with cities. Okay. So he he he's doing. Look. Amazon. Right. So that's what he's that's, dealing with this white man. He, the Lord, he has to pay. That's out of the scripture. That's out of the heavenly Father's wow. word. And what, and what that also proves is that the Lord has a separation of who he likes and who he dislikes. So why, why is he giving his barricade? Huh? Why, why are we giving this barricade? This barricade because of our we are, time. We're the truth. Mm -hmm. Why are the benches too high? Well, the reason why we're in this condition is because of the curses that the Lord put upon us. Like we've read that our people's destroyed for lack of knowledge, it's because of the transgressions that our forefathers did back in Israel, which caused us to be caught up in this captivity, this barricade that we're in right now, in this cage that we're in right now. Okay? Say it again. We shouldn't be paying for all this. Like, well, well, we have. Where is the point break? Where is the point where we are? Yeah, five or fifteen. Five or fifteen. Yeah, five or fifteen. I'm a Can we get a break, man? Like, I, I, real I understand that. Can we get a break? Like, can we have a chance to achieve that, and look, what we're doing without going through the suffering of the end of the end? Well, look, we we're... To deal with it there. I don't want to see the babies die or something just because I want to break it beforehand. I want to stop. You want you, you want this you want the stuff the things that's happening to these people, your your people, yeah. Native Americans. I want what's going what's stop. going on with them going up in Canada lynching, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh Native Americans disappearing, wanna, you know what I'm saying? Wanna, yeah, well, just Native Americans go to and shit. Like, I just wanted you, you, to stop a little bit before well, everything stops. Well, look, here's the thing. It's, you know what, you know, oh, I, and, and you know what's gonna, you know how it's gonna stop? It's gonna stop when a man, a black man named Jesus Christ comes back and redeems the Israelites. That's right. Yeah, because so, they're so, proven the first humans what's happening. Give me, real quick, give me, um, Luke, uh, not Luke. Matthew, Mark, Luke. Yeah, give me Luke, the first chapter of 68. Come on, Luke, the first chapter of 68. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Real, real what, what's the goal that you got to do here? I love getting Molly. <laughs> yes, yes, what, are we, the goal. what are you guys doing to the outside? Is there a help? Hey, real quick. Wait, wait, wait. Let me answer that. The goal is to wake up our people. Listen real quick, Go ahead. It's the book of Luke, 
But let hold that real quick. Bring this up. This is Hosea chapter five verse fifteen. Go ahead. I will go and return to my place. The Lord has said he will go and return to his place. All right, he's done that. Go ahead. Until they acknowledge their offense. Until we acknowledge our offense. What is our offense? Breaking his commandments, breaking his laws, breaking the laws that said and commandments that, that the Lord gave to us. All right, and the way he returns back to us is us following his ways and not following our own hearts. That's right. Our own vain opinion. Right? Now, oh, you still got that open. What you gotta do is let go of these mortal thoughts. Go ahead. Cast away the burdens of men. Cast away the burdens of men. Go ahead. Put off now the weak nature. Put now off the weak nature. Put off feelings for these other nations. Feelings for how I feel, I myself feel, and, and put on the same mindset of how does the Lord feel? How does the Lord look upon me and see if I, I'm able to be saved? Okay, read. Set aside thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. And set, a thought, set aside thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. These things that are, that are happening unto us, we have, the reason why we don't understand why it's going on, because we have forsook the Bible. We forsook, we forsook the word of the Heavenly Father. The Lord said, if, if you keep my commandments, I'll set you up high above all nations upon the face of the earth. That's right. If, if, if you break my commandments and continue to, do, continue to break them, I'm going to give you over to these to your enemies. And, uh, and, 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 what it, and I'm going to let all these atrocities happen, happen to you for not breaking my, for breaking my laws, for not following my, my instructions. Right. And what, you know what that, that, that includes? That includes um, 100 million Native Americans being slaughtered on this land. That, that includes this land being taken and stolen from, from right? Yeah, and haste, and read that again, slot. Haste thee to flee from these times. And haste to flee from these times. So, how do we do that? You do that by going back to your heritage and your culture of being a Hebrew Israelite. All right? Even the name Native American was a term that the so called white man put upon you. You weren't calling yourself Native American before the so called white man came over here. You were, you were, look, brother, you are an Israelite. You were speaking Hebrew. You were following, you were in the knowledge of knowing that you were an Israelite before the white man came over here and took your land from you. That's right. That's it, that's it right? Now get that, get that in uh, Luke. Oh, you got a pretty song. Oh, you got a pretty song. Oh, you got a pretty song. Real quick. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. My, uh, is the, uh, my spiritualness what? giving me this thing is it's hard for me to uh, yeah, break that boundary. But you guys break your what? Break my boundary because my spiritualness is like I'm the guy on Christmas right. or whatever holiday, just whatever. I like to get. I get enjoyment. I feel better in my spiritualness by giving and receiving. I would always rather give a than receive now, now look, brother. Um, now, now. It's hard to draw a Yeah, it's, and look. Right, right, yeah. I'm, I haven't got to where I am. That's no, why I was curious. I haven't been able to do I understand. It's just, it's my weakness. Everyone tells me, oh, this is all you're doing. You're bad ass. But I love it. You know what I know. You might be taking it from me. No. Yeah, you know, here, here, hey, brother, real quick. Real quick. Uh, here's a flyer for you. Um, no, this is our page. Our page is on here. Um, is it? Yeah, our page is on here. Okay. Now, I, we want to leave leave you this scripture before you go because 
to, to no knowledge, you know what I'm saying? You have to subject your now subject your understanding to to the men that said that the Lord set up to show you who you are in these last days. You're a Hebrew Israelite. God came for the children of Israel. That's You're right. one of them. All right? That's and when Christ returns, he's coming back to save his the remnant of his people. That's right. All right? And he's going to pay back everything that the everything that your enemies, especially the so-called white men, has done to you. All right? So you got to look, you got to look up one of the That's the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. What? Right. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. He said, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. This is in the New Testament. In the book of Luke. Let's read that again. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord of God of Israel. Go ahead. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. That's right. He hath redeemed and visited his people. You're one of those children. The so-called white men, the Arab, the African, the Chinese, they're not one of them. The, uh, the black, Hispanics, Native Americans, those are God's children. Okay? Go ahead. Huh. He's redeemed them. And he's coming for them. Go ahead. And hath raised up and horn of salvation for us. He's raised up a horn, a strength of salvation for us. Go ahead. In the house of his servant David. By the lineage of his servant David. Who was that speaking of? Jesus Christ. Yeah. All right. And Jesus Christ is the so-called black. Man. He's coming back to save our people, the twelve tribes of Israel. That's right. All right. Bring it up real quick. Go ahead. This is Second Thessalonians chapter one, verse six. Bring it up. It says, seeing it is a righteous thing with God right. to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Right. So that's right. Calm. That's what, hey, the, the Lord is with payback and vengeance. He's going to bring that to your enemies for the things that he's done to you and your ancestors. That's a righteous yeah, thing. That, go ahead. Say that. Lord, the Bible said Can that I? is a righteous thing. The righteousness and his wickedness. God says it's righteous to pay back tribulation to everybody who troubles the nation of Israel. But the Bible says that uh, we are the apple of his eye, man. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a righteousness to pay back tribulation. We got a precept. 